93.7 WTIB. All right, welcome back. It's Talk of the Town here Friday morning. Good to have you. It's the uh, third day of April, and um, the, uh, the, the the kindness of our friends and advertisers continues. We have free food sitting here in front of me this morning that uh, my buddy Amanda has brought from Krispy Kreme. Good morning, Amanda Tilly. How are you? We are great. Good to see you. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if you're looking at – Michael, do that over – do that overhead shot again. If you're looking at our video, you can see all of the great donuts. Are you leaving all these here? I am. I am. Are you expecting me to eat one of these? No. Or I mean, many I mean, of I'm them? expecting you to share or take <laughs> home and share. Well, you know, safely, here, here's of course. What, here's what's happening to the food that comes in here because we had uh, Danny from the Seahorse brought brought lunch over yesterday. And Danny, if you're listening, thank you so much. What a great lunch we had. We had uh, he brought in barbecue chicken which is might have been the best barbecue chicken i've ever had barbecue chicken fried chicken and yes i did eat a chicken leg a fried chicken leg i hadn't had one of those in a long time and ribs and yes i did eat some of the ribs i ate some of it was like a picnic sounds wonderful oh it was great green beans and uh what else michael we had uh some of the best potato salad i've ever had what what else slaw slaw and uh and and hot rolls and a chocolate cake because you know it's uh you know what they say about the seahorse restaurant it's uh danny steaks and mama's cakes his uh -huh. mama his mama makes the cakes over Ooh, there. that's awesome oh they're that's awesome. awesome and uh so he, uh, he brought one of those great chocolate cakes in here and i went into the uh conference room uh after lunch and i could not find the cake <laughs> i was looking for a mid-afternoon snack right. and i was just going to pinch off a peak just a little bit. and the cake disappeared michael do you have any idea what happened to the chocolate cake? I don't have the foggiest. I really don't know what happened to that. He's lying. He took it off. <laughs> he took it to his. He took it to his. Well, you can't let it go son. to waste. And that's where these donuts are going to go. <laughs> All right. So tell me. Uh, we we've been talking to some of our uh, friends in the restaurant business. Uh, tell us what's going on at Krispy Kreme. First of all, if you go through Krispy Kreme this morning and say you're listening to Talk of the Town, you're going to give away a donut, right? We are, and, and, and we are trying as much as we can to stick to regular routine. So when we have a, a new donut and we have you guys on the show, we always offer a free donut of choice. So we're doing that today, um, and, and, and our donuts today are our spring minis, uh, and they are, um, I have no camera, idea. Of, that camera right there. The one up in the roof. Uh, these <laughs> um, and, uh, and 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 it's it's a Easter colored sprinkle donut. Yeah. Our bunny bum donut, which is a cute this green icing with green sprinkles to look like grass, and then a little bunny bum, uh, a, a a chick donut, and then a a spring flower donut. And that's uh. strawberry icing with a cute sanding sugar and a strawberry flower shape on top. They're they're <laughs> they're all great. They look cute. Uh, you can get a, a, a mini box, which is a 16-count box, uh, when, when you come through. So we're very excited to be offering this. And that's those. what you're giving this morning if people that, come through? That's what we're giving away this morning. So if you come through the drive through this morning between now and 9 o'clock, you get a free one of these donuts. Absolutely. We those, also, are, those are fun for the kids, too, this time of year. They, yeah. also, they are, and they're a great serving size. They're a little yeah. bit smaller than a regular donut, so right. a lot of people like that. We also have, and I will try to hold it up to the right camera, um, <laughs> Don't that look like chocolate covered glaze? Today glazed? is our chocolate glazed Friday. Oh it's typically God. the first Friday of the month. Sometimes things change, but this this month gonna, it is. I'm going to have to bite and, into and, one of and those. And that is, it's a dark chocolate glaze that 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 coats the 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 ring donut that we normally serve. And again, if you're a chocolate lover, it's wonderful. I I encourage you to come by and get one. Um, and just in general, I, I have to say we are very thankful. That, that we are able to be open and serve yeah. and people are coming. And again, I cannot tell you how much we appreciate people coming through our drive-through. We are drive-through only for takeout. Uh, you can order online or order for delivery and those pickups happen at our front door. So honestly, if you're not a line person, the best thing to do is order online and come pick it up. We'll just literally Open meet you the at the door, door and hand and hand oh, okay. it out to you so okay. so it's so it's 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 so you're it's not, no safe. one's coming in the building other correct. Than employees yeah correct yeah so you're keeping so, safe so, so. How, how else has what, what else have you had to change about your operation uh, uh, the the biggest thing has just been sanitation routines yeah um and and 
and again, we, we already had pretty solid food safety practices. If anything, we're just doing what we were already doing more times a day. Yeah, um, but, right. but, we, but we feel good that those practices are keeping our employees safe and keeping our food safe for right. our customers. Right. Well, you guys have always had a healthy drive through business, but I'm we sure have. We have. I'm sure it, it's uh, it's stronger than ever. Yeah, we're we're, we're 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 again feeling very fortunate. We have two unique promotions going on right now that I, I want to to share with folks. We we started last Saturday and we'll be doing every Saturday until these times end. Uh, we're doing what we call B Sweet Saturdays, and so if you come through and you buy a dozen at regular price, we're going to give you a free B Sweet donut to share with someone else and, okay. and, and that be sweet dozen is going to be so it's, it's, a, it's a full dozen it's it's a full dozen yeah. and i again trying to get to the camera here this one right here this yeah. is the be sweet dozen it it's it's a it's a it's 11 glazed donuts and one smiley face donut okay so and again the thought here is we we can't retool to make masks or ventilators or whatever but what we can do is help people stay connected um, and, and, and share some smiles. And so if, if, if you come through on Saturdays, we'll give you this extra dozen if you say, hey, I want that B-Suite dozen. And, and it's bagged separately with a little note that explains that it's sealed and safe, but you can drop it off at a friend or a neighbor or a mm -hmm. first responder place. Just again, a way to to, to share and stay connected. And, it, and, it's, and it's free with a, a with a, a paid yeah. dozen. So yeah. you, 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 get you purchase on, a dozen, and we'll give you on this free upon request. Yes, every Saturday wow, that's great. until good this for ends. you. That's an awesome. That's yeah. an awesome thing. Yeah. So you just on Saturdays, you just go through buy a dozen, get a dozen, be sweet to yep. send to some to be sweet to someone else. Yes, exactly. That's a great idea. Exactly, and and and. Our, uh, our other offer is on Mondays, and we started last Monday because that was National Doctors Day. Um, healthcare community folks can come by and get uh, a free dozen. Uh, because of the overwhelming response we had last weekend, we have, <laughs> it, it, I mean, last Monday was incredible. Yeah. Uh, we are having to limit it to two dozen, but if you come through, all you have to do is show your badge mm -hmm. uh, and we'll give you two dozen free to take to the office to share or uh, if you're coming home take so it went, it, it went, went nuts last week it it, it 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 was it was truly overwhelming we couldn't, we, couldn't we, handle we, it we we were we did the absolute best we could but mm -hmm. but we had we had lines and, and we well, when you're giving away people. donuts yeah. you're going to get overwhelmed yeah well and, and again i think the important thing is 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 that that we again are trying to do what we can mm -hmm. to say thank you and again to the those folks that are on the front line we want them to know we appreciate what they're doing and be able to hopefully bring a bright spot to their that's day that's awesome so again uh on mondays free dozen for healthcare workers Healthcare workers must have your badge bring your badge Yep. And if you had but you get up to two dozen up to, two to take dozen, back to the right. office. And then on Saturdays, uh, the B Suite Saturdays, you get a free dozen with every dozen purchased. And uh, the second dozen will have the B Suite donut in it. And you yes. can and drop that off to a neighbor's right. house. Yeah. Right. Or a first responder. Yeah. Great idea. And uh, how long are the uh, how long are the, the spring minis and the chocolate glazed? Chocolate glazed is just today. Just today. It, it'll be back. Friday, April twenty fourth, um, and then the the spring minis are here through the end of April, as long as supplies last. I think April twenty eighth is okay. the last day. All right, good. How about uh, I guess fundraising and those kind of things are kind of tough right now. Yep. If you're interested in a fundraiser, we're glad to help out, but we also understand right now it's hard if you if you're not going to be in a group. Um, yeah, right. To do it. Nobody's we do, doing we, churches We do have certificates, yeah. so so if you wanted to do a fundraiser and you you could coordinate doing it so mm -hmm. that people could come get their don donuts later, so yeah. that would be the yeah. best option right. right now. All right, very good. Uh, well, let me tell you uh, that I appreciate um, you uh, being a sponsor of our show for many years. Um, you and I have been friends a long time. Where people may not know, we're also neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> so we see uh, we see each other walking the dogs. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Uh, but uh, you you are one of my uh, real heroes in this community with regard to uh, successful small business people. 
Uh, you've really done a great job with your operations, uh, not only here, but Rocky Mountain Goldsboro. That's so, right. Uh, and again, we're, we're very thankful because it's all about the community support that we yeah, get. And we're yeah. thankful well, for Well, and that. you give back, which is which is good stuff, like you're doing right now. So get a spring mini. Go by and get a free one this morning at the drive through at uh, Krispy Kreme. Yep. Anything else you want to mention? Nope. I Thank you good. for the donuts. Yeah, absolutely. Michael's already in there wiggling in his chair. He can't wait. <laughs> Did anybody else see you bring in the donuts? Anybody else from no, the other stations? No. We might just keep these for our station. <laughs> no, we'll share them. Thank you, Amanda. Excellent. Thank you. All right, 15 after. Let's get a break in. We're coming back. More talk of the town here for Friday morning after this. Every day we find ourselves racing the clock. That's why Grasshopper Mid-Mount Mowers are designed to provide the ultimate time-cutting performance. Grasshopper gives you true zero-turn maneuverability and effortless control, plus dependability. Backed by one of the best warranties in the industry. Test drive a Grasshopper and see how it mows in record time while you ride in comfort. For the best in price and service, visit Snow Tractor and Equipment on Highway 11 in Aden today and see how Grasshopper can be your next mower. Sleeping with CPAP can mean waking and hearing. Hun, there's a ring around your face. Or... Dad, what's up with your face? If you stopped wearing CPAP because of marks and rashes, now there's Inspire. Inspire is a sleep apnea treatment that works inside your body with just the click of a remote. That's right, a button. If you're struggling with CPAP, visit InspireSleep.com. Inspire. Sleep apnea innovation. No mask, no hose. Just sleep. Talk to your doctor to see if Inspire is right for you. Review important safety information at InspireSleep.com. CPW's is open weekdays from 12 to 8 p.m. featuring online ordering with a link on our Facebook page. Give us a call at 252-757-7756 for daily features. Now featuring family meal deals with pasta, salad with homemade dressing, French bread with homemade honey butter, and dessert. CPW's also has daily carryout specials including pizza of all sizes with curbside service daily from 4.30 to 7.30. Other times, just call when you arrive. Yes, we are open and we thank you for supporting CPW's for almost 25 years years. I'm in the studio with my good friend Brian Smith. Brian is a small business specialist with Town Insurance. And uh, Brian, tell us why a small business should come to town to, for their insurance needs. Well, Henry, the, the business owners are very busy the, these days. So let Town do the shopping for you. We have access to over 270 companies and we can shop your insurance for you and take the time that instead of calling other people, other agencies, we can save you time and money by shopping you with 270 companies. And Brian, how long does it typically take to get an insurance package put together for a small business? Recently, we had a client call, and within an hour, we had taken care of his insurance needs. That's, that's amazing. Folks, if you've got a small business and you need insurance, give Brian and the folks at Town Insurance a call at 252-756-8300, or you can get them online at townwithaneinsurance.com. Ahoy, mateys! To keep those cars clean, you need the Pirate's Cove Fast Pass. Pirate's Cove Car Wash and Heveland Express Lube is on Fire Tower Road in front of the movie theater. Also on Memorial Drive at Arlington. Arr, but wait, there's a third location coming soon to 10th Street, so we have you surrounded. The Captain's Special is unlimited $20 washes for only $39.99 a month, and the Walk the Plank Pass is unlimited $12 washes for only $24.99 a month. Pirate's Cove, the official car wash partner of ECU Athletics. It's a nine o'clock world. Work starts at nine. Don't worry. You're not late yet. Yeah. Back to Henry Hinton and Talk of the Town on 1037 WTIB. All right, 19 after. Welcome back to the program here on uh, Friday morning. We are live in the studio, but we still have the uh, Krispy Kreme menus right up here in front of us. So uh, stop by Krispy Kreme this morning, uh, anytime between now and nine here at the drive through in Greenville, and you will get a free spring mini uh great to have uh, amanda in here this morning and uh, bringing all those donuts she brought enough donuts for uh three times the number of people here this morning um i'm getting some funny stuff as always my friends my, my friends all think they're comedians so i get all these texts uh david uh, my my wake forest friend says interesting fact for your listeners the term social distancing is not new the Wake Forest men's basketball team has been engaged in social distancing on defense ever since Danny Manning was named head coach. <laughs> <laughs> Wake Forest people love Danny Manning, don't they? I can't believe he, he made the cut we have so far. 
Uh, the chairman of the uh, UNC Board of Governors, Randy Ramsey, sent me a text uh, and pointed out that um, there are some there is some good news that the University of North Carolina system is one of the top in the country, one of the top uh, systems in the country leading the way um, for research to beat COVID-19. They list uh, the University of, Ch uh, of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, number eight on the list. Uh, and I think it's, a, it's only one of two United States institutions in the top eight. Number one is University of Hong Kong, number two. Well, number there's three. Number two is the Centers for Disease Control. Number three is the Erasmus University of Rotterdam. Number four is the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Number five is the National Institute of Health. Number six, Utrecht University. Number seven, University of Bonn. And then number eight is the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. So um, UNC Chapel Hill, one of the top eight institutions in the world working on a, um, a way to beat COVID-19. And uh, UNC Chapel Hill, number three in the United States. So that's impressive. Good stuff there. Mm -hmm. uh, let's check some news headlines this morning. Uh, brought to you by the Tire Realty Group and Property Management Team. Here with the very latest is Trent McGee. All right, thanks. North Carolina has at least 2,023 cases of coronavirus and 18 deaths as of April 2nd. Almost 9 of 10 North Carolina's counties have reported at least one case. Pitt County currently has 31 confirmed cases of COVID-19. Wilson County has 20. Northampton County has 36 cases right now and still of that one death. Carteret County leaders are urging everyone to stay out of the water during this pandemic, double red beach flags will fly across the island until April 29th. That includes the town of Atlantic Beach, Emerald Isle, Indian Beach, and Pine Knoll Shores. Residents can walk and run along the beach strand. Atlantic Beach Mayor Trace Cooper said, quote, if you don't live in Bogue Banks or own Bogue Banks property or work on an essential business in Bogue Banks, you can't be here. Do not come. Stay home and stay safe. Two offenders in the minimum custody unit at Noose Correctional Institution in Goldsboro have tested positive for coronavirus. They are the second and third offenders in the state prison system to test positive for COVID-19. The offenders who were housed in the same housing unit reported to the medical staff with symptoms of a viral infection on March 27th. An inmate at the Moray Correctional Institution in Greene County died late Thursday afternoon after being attacked by another inmate during a fight. The North Carolina Department of Public Safety said 75-year-old inmate Charles Rogers was stabbed with a homemade weapon around 4.37 Thursday afternoon in one of the prison's housing units. Prison leaders said after facility, medical personnel performed life-saving procedures on the scene. Rogers was pronounced dead at 4.46. Weather forecasters are predicting an above-normal hurricane season. Colorado State University released its annual Atlantic hurricane season forecast Thursday. And they predict 16 named tropical systems instead of the average 12, and eight of those are forecast to reach hurricane status. And Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin says Americans should begin seeing financial relief for the coronavirus fallout this month. Mnuchin announced the economic impact payments would be, uh, would be hitting direct deposit accounts within two weeks. The Mari story? I did. It's a, you did? About the fight? It's a, yeah, somebody, another death yep. at uh, Mari. I mean, that's like three. What's it, I don't know until we were there at Maury, but uh, this was, yeah, 75-year-old inmate. And just Yeah, stabbed uh, with a homemade weapon yesterday mm -hmm. and killed in uh, Maury Correctional. Isn't that like three deaths in the last month at Maury? It's kind of crazy. I don't know about that. Check the uh, weather for you in a minute. First, let's go to the phones. James is on the phone. He's been holding a while. Good morning, James. Yes, good morning, Henry. Thanks for taking my call. Yes, sir. I saw an ad on TV last night that really warmed my heart, and I think you'll get a kick out of it. And what surprised me is it came on during prime time on NBC uh, during the news or at the end of it. Franklin Graham, Billy Graham's son, had took an ad out and said how this country needs to get back to God and to pray and to get ourselves I out saw of this it. mess. I saw it. And I, I thought it was I, great. I Oh, it, it really was, and uh, it just warmed my heart to see that and to know that NBC put it on the air. Well, and, and then this, this morning, from the NBC website. You ready for their headline this morning about Franklin Graham? No, I hadn't heard it. Group behind Central Park's COVID field hospital run by anti-gay evangelist. Isn't that something? 
that's something. That would screw up anything any way they can. <laughs> the, head, the, uh, the, the, the subtitle, Franklin Graham, the head of Samaritan's Purse, has compared trans people to pedophiles and said gays would burn in the flames of hell. So that's the headline this morning about a man and his organization that's trying to save lives for free. Because if you know anything about Samaritan's Purse, they don't charge anything. You're exactly, and they don't judge either. And uh, how, how wonderful, that, and we're so fortunate to have them. By the way, you and Trent make a wonderful combination. But for us old folks, ask Trent to please start talking a little slower. <laughs> McGee, start talking a little slower. James, I've been told that since I was... He does get revved up sometimes. I don't know, 10 years old. <laughs> he gets revved up. All right, Anyhow, James. thank you again for doing such a great job and telling it like it is. Thank you, James, for calling. Great to hear from you. 26 after. All right, let's check some weather headlines. Now, you got it? What's the I, weather going to be? I can give it to you. Do it slowly. I can give it to you slowly. Do it slowly. And surely. <laughs> 68 Stop degrees. Stop calling me surely. Uh, okay. Yeah, 68 degrees for the high today. Plenty of sunshine on tap. Breezy. Uh, we'll see lows tonight in the low to mid 40s for your Saturday. Mostly sunny skies, comfortable with highs again in the mid to upper 60s. And for your Sunday, looking really good. We'll see a high of 71 degrees. Plenty of sunshine on tap with overnight lows in the mid 50s. Temps will be into the mid 70s and into the early uh, low 80s, excuse me, uh, by the middle and end of next week. All right, News and Weather Services, Sire of the Tire Realty Group. Uh, if you've seen anything that Homer and Rachel have put online, on social media in the last couple of weeks. You know they're doing their part to try to keep the economy going. They've got the uh, Keep Them Open Challenge where they've invited people to give money to local businesses, make a donation. And then they've also got what I really love is the Pitt County Dining Bingo Card. It's really cool. Which, <laughs> which you go to their uh, you go to their, their social media at tirerealtygroup.com. There's a bingo card that has uh, a bunch of different Pitt County restaurants. And once you get bingo in any direction, they will give you a $50 gift card to one of those restaurants. And so the first winner this week was Joseph Dylan Webb. He got a $50 gift card to Nino's. So congratulations to, uh, to Joe Dylan Webb. He is the first winner this week. And of course, thanks to all the folks at the Tire Realty Group for all the stuff that they're doing right now to... Uh, keep everybody positive through all this and they're selling homes if you heard homer on the air earlier this week you heard him say that they've got uh, people are actually buying homes right now and so it's not a bad time to list your home uh tire realty group continues to offer the most extensive marketing plan to get your home sold and um, don't forget about their um, their trg offers program if you're looking for maximum convenience during this time with their trg offers you can receive a cash offer in as little as 72 hours on your home with no showings, no open house, no repairs, and best of all, no commissions. Tire Realty Group. They're the only agents I would call if I was going to sell my home today. Call them today at 252-758-HOME. That's 758-4663. Or visit them at tirerealtygroup.com and then start packing. And uh, go to the Tire Realty Group social media page and get that uh, Pitt County ding bingo dining card and, um, and start, uh, start filling it in. All right, uh, more open lines this morning. We just kind of left Friday morning open. We were supposed to be at Krispy Kreme this morning, so we didn't have a big agenda today. So if you want to call and uh, tell us anything that's going on, 252-561-8255, 252 561 8255 We'll be right back. During this difficult time, Moore's Old Time Barbecue is there with you to help with meal planning. With locations in New Bern, Winterville, Moorhead City, and Swansboro, Moore's Old Time Barbecue is serving their complete menu of mouth-watering barbecue, crispy fried chicken, fresh seafood, and signature sides each day with temporary hours from 10.30 a.m. until 8 p.m. They have drive through services at each location, or you can place call-ahead orders by phone. You can see their complete menu at moorsoldtimebbq.com or on Facebook. Attention turkey hunters, Greenville Marine Outdoor Shop just outside of Greenville is the premier shop for all your turkey hunting supplies and is east of North Carolina's newest Benelli, Stoger, Franchi, and Mossberg dealer. Greenville Marine Outdoor Shop carries the hard-to-find Stevens 410 and Bottomland Camo. 
and has a full line of TSS, Long Beard, and Mag Blend ammos. They also have Avion X and Dave Smith decoys, carry custom turkey calls such as David Holleran and Eddie Wynn game calls, and a great selection of turkey vests, seats, and blinds. Everything you need for a successful turkey hunt is all under one roof. So why go anywhere else? For you fishermen, Greenville Marine Outdoor Shop has what you need. They carry one of the largest inventories of rods, reels, and fishing tackle in the area for fresh and saltwater fishing. Greenville Marine Outdoor Shop, just outside of Greenville on Marine Drive, open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30, and Saturday, 8.30 to 12.30. Need $1,000 to $10,000 immediately for a gift for someone special, car repairs, or unexpected expenses? Time Financing Service offers competitive loan rates. Apply online and get your answer in less than an hour in most cases. Then you can pick up the cash at any of our 24 convenient locations. Apply online 24-7 at timefinancing.com. That's timefinancing.com. It's that jingle you remember from your childhood or the place you go every year on your birthday. It's all part of your story. Small businesses impact our lives in big ways. The products and services, menu items and people, the buildings and logos, it all means something. So during these challenging times, we can order takeout, use the drive through or shop them online. Because even though they're called small, small businesses are a big part of our lives. We're Viamark Advertising, here to remind us about the big impact of local businesses. Small, that's how they're described. But small businesses have a big presence in our community. The products and services, menu items and people, the buildings and the logos, it's all a part of what makes us, us. So during this challenging time, it means a lot just to order some takeout from them or shop them online. Because even though they're called small, they're a big part of our lives. We're Viamark Advertising, here to remind all of us about the big impact of our local businesses. Work is redundant. Your talk shouldn't be. This is Henry Hinton and Talk of the Town on 1037 WTIB. Again, thanks again to all of our sponsors of the show. Um, Another sponsor that I want to mention this morning is Advantage Therapy Solutions, my buddy Kelly Brown. Uh, She wants people to know that if you come to Advantage Therapy Solutions right now, they are offering safe, no contact, no contact therapy options, as well as curbside delivery of important supplements for immune health. And of course, this is the um, the hot new business that everybody's talking about. If you've got arthritis, uh, uh, pain management, injury recovery, Advantage Therapy Solutions can help you with their with their laser th- therapies, safe, non invasive treatment options. And again, they can do it and um, and not have any contact with you at all. And they're doing all the sanitizing and all that they need to do to keep it very safe. And they also have that curbside delivery of uh, sup- supplements. So call them in advance if you want to uh, make an appointment with them, 252-689-8729. That's 252-689-8729. They're located at 212 Arlington Boulevard, right across the street from the WITN uh, TV station. Uh, Advantage Therapy Solutions. Thanks to Kelly, again, another one of our sponsors is sticking with us through all this. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of them. We appreciate. It. We don't have enough of them, but again, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, if we can do anything uh, here to promote your business, we had a business uh, talk to us yesterday. Said he's about forty percent off, but he's increasing his advertising budget. I know this sounds self-serving, but that's what you ought to do. You know, it's. Um, um, you, you know, just praying that people are going to continue to come in. I mean, people, there are people advertising and getting great results. We had uh, Texas Roadhouse, uh, our buddy David Hollinger, his parking lot's full. Yep. And yep. other restaurants that are advertising with us are full. And, you know, we actually had some some restaurants respond to my message yesterday. If you're interested, we are offering uh, uh, packages right now that lower rates since we are going through this ourselves. Obviously, it's supply and demand, so we can give uh, some really great advertising deals. If you want to call us or email me this morning, Henry at IBX Media, I will get one of my folks to get right back to you. Uh, something to think about. Uh, if you got anything you'd like to say, 
Two, uh, open lines right now, 252-561-8255. I was talking earlier, McGee, about this article about how to have a, a, a good weekend while you're, uh, uh, you're sheltering in place yes, at home. things to do. Things to do at home. I mentioned a couple of these earlier. The first one was uh, if you're a foodie, get takeout from a restaurant, a, a restaurant that you've been wanting to try. Um, or you, you can make a recipe that you've had bookmarked forever. You know, learn how to cook. Uh, my wife and I are in different towns right now. <laughs> We're going to be together this weekend, but uh, you know, I, I've often, yeah, I've never learned really how to cook, and I, I've, I've always wanted to be able to cook. And yeah. I just, uh, you know, I can cook an egg. I can cook I an can egg. Cook a few things. But, you can grill. Uh, I can grill, but I mean, I really would like to learn how to cook. The two things that I've always said that I wish I. You know, my, my mother made me take piano lessons when I was young, and I didn't appreciate it because I didn't want to play. And so if you make a kid do something, he's not going to really want to do it, and I never really got into it. But I learned how to play a little bit. But now I wish I could play the piano. I wish I could – you know, what a great retirement thing to be able to sit down and just play the piano. Yeah, that'd be cool. I can play like a little tiny bit, but um, that and cooking, I could learn how to do that right now. If you're a sports fan, read up on the history of your favorite sports team so when they start playing again, you'll have a greater appreciation for it or, um, you know, they're showing some of the old games on TV. If you're into culture, you can take a virtual museum tour like they have, they have them on uh, the Google's Art and Culture page. Um, or read books or see movies you've never seen before. I find myself watching things that I've never watched before on television, but I'm, I'm trying not to watch too much television, you know. If you're an extrovert or busybody, you can host a virtual happy hour with your friends. That's a good idea. Have happy hour today or tomorrow. Invite a bunch of friends and just have a chat on one of these uh, chat sites like uh, Zoom. or. My daughter sent me one yesterday. What's the new one she sent me yesterday? There's a new one? Well, <clears throat> there's something called House Party. Have you seen this? No, but I'm intrigued. Keep going. Well, it's an app. Oh. It's an app called House Party, and you can, like, have a, a party. So if you want to go to the App Store and download House Party and get all your friends, you can have probably 15, 20 people on this app and, and have a party. A virtual house party. Yeah. Cool. Uh, or if you just want to relax, you can meditate, take a bath, <laughs> or just take a nap. I'm pretty good at that. Uh, 23 in front of 8, 252-561-8255. 252-561-8255. Tavares is on the phone. What's up, Tavares? Not much, big hand. McGee, how y'all doing? Hey, what's up, Tavares? How you getting through there? You everything good? You're, you're a truck. Aren't you still driving a truck? Yeah, I'm an essential worker. I also work at a group home uh, at night uh, for uh, those who are physically, mentally uh, disabled. Oh, and, wow. Uh, I go from right, I go from that and uh, go get in the truck at 9. Well, we had a uh, we had a truck driver uh, call in this morning and said that things are really rough for truck drivers. You experiencing that? No, uh, no, I I, I uh, deal with the uh, solid waste, so um, it's so you, just more it's more trash and. Um, you so know, you're you, you drive you drive a truck locally. You don't have to get out on the interstate. Thank God, I'm able to get home to my family and stuff. Yeah. But God bless those guys and those women out there that that are that are out there. You know, it, yeah. There's no is. place. There's no place for them to shower, and they're having trouble right. finding places to eat. Right. It, it's um. You know, but they have people out at at the rest stops. You know that are um. You know that are bringing them snacks. Some places. You know they're they're chipping in. You know, doing that good old American thing. You know, showing heart when when it's needed. Um. But uh, I was going. I was going to speak on like um. I'm a coach and uh, kids that are, that are, um, you know, kind of complacent in this time. They're losing that, 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 that competitive edge right now. Because yeah, they don't really I've, have other I've, kids. I've thought about that. Yeah. You know, and, uh, but parents, you can, you know, right there in the living room, you can keep those muscles and that, and that competitive mentality going, you know, go on YouTube, find out little workouts they can do. Um, you know, go out and throw the basketball, uh, throw the baseball with them. Uh, I got a T. My son hit the, hits the tee. He shoots basketball like he can lay on his back um, in the living room and shoot jumpers up in the sky. You know <laughs> that helps. That helps his jump shot. It, it really does. You know. Yeah. And I mean, it's a lot of things you can do. Um, competitive games. You know, we play match to keep his competitive drive going because 
he's not in competition right now. So you yeah. you don't lose if you don't use it, you can lose it. So a lot of people have invested um, was, a lot of money this is in their a, kids. <laughs> this is an interesting point. All the kids today, you know, they're so used to having so many kids to play with and so many things to do and all that. And right. I and I was thinking about this. You know, what here's what kids are now experiencing. My childhood. <laughs> Because when you left, when you lived out in the country in the fifties, yeah. I mean, they're just you know you had to entertain yourself. You had to find a, things a, to do. A, a, a rock and a stick. A rock and a stick. Yeah. Yeah. A rock and a stick went a long way back in my childhood, yeah. baby. Hey, hey, y'all have a good one, man. Be All safe. right, thank you, Devon. Hey, be safe. Two five two five six one eight two five five two five two five six one eight two five five. Lori, good morning. Is it Lori? Hey. Is it Lori? No, it's Lorita. Lorita. Hey, Lorita. <laughs> hey, Henry. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Uh, doing great. We're, we're in Essential, so we're quite happy that the farmer's market is still open. So, so you're, 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 do you run the farmer's market, Lorita? Yes, sir. And is it going to be open um, tomorrow? I mean, are you open every day? No, actually, we're open Saturdays only from 8 until 1 until May, and then we'll be open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So this is uh, this is the farmer's market here in Pitt County on um, on um, uh, County Home Road. That is correct. Right yes, across sir. from the uh, Senior Center. Yep, absolutely. Okay. So you will mm-hmm. be open tomorrow. Now, how are you, uh, what kind of uh, special precautions are you taking for social distancing and things like that if people want to come out? Well, we're asking people to keep six feet apart, of course. We do have labels that we are asking people to wear. All of our vendors wear them that remind people six feet apart. We're giving them out to customers if they're going to kind of go from vendor to vendor. This is a precaution, and a lot of them are using them, you know, a lot of them are using them outside of the farmer's market also. Just as a reminder to people, um, we're asking one patron per table when they are going through the market if they're paying then we're just asking other people to stay back Mm -hmm. and wait for them to stop or get finish their transaction and then they can move up okay Um, so you're taking you're taking you're taking lots of precautions what are the hours again tomorrow we open at eight and close at one all right at the pitt county farmers market here on uh, on county home run Lorita. Thank you for all you're doing, keeping the farmers going out there. Thank you, dear. 252-561-8255, 252-561-8255. Steve, good morning. You're up. How are you? Good morning, Henry. Uh, I'm an over-the-road truck driver. And oh. uh, and uh, the biggest uh, the biggest thing I've seen is, well, I, I, I eat paleo, so I carry my food with me. You can't find good paleo food in a truck stop. So, uh, uh, so my food is kind of taken care of. But yes, it, the guys that are out there that are eating normally out there, they're having a tough time. Uh, a lot of the fast food restaurants will not allow them to walk up uh, to a drive-through. So, a lot of them guys are having a tough time. Uh, wow. I have not. That's a, that that's like that's that's uh, that's that's too bad, isn't it? So so you know if the diners are closed and they're not serving, which we heard earlier today, and you're not able to uh, and you're not able to drive up, obviously in a truck through a drive-through, and they won't let you walk up. Uh, where are guys getting food on the road? Well, the biggest places are in the travel centers, the truck stops. Most of them do have the hot food, the the, the hot food option. Uh, they do have some of those, and that what they're doing with that, they are going uh, ahead and let you know let people get it, and take it away, take it to their yeah. Or okay, so, so they're those, those are, but they're not very healthy options. There's I was going to say you can find stuff. food, you just can't find good food. <laughs> you can't find the food that I would want. Now, as far as customers go, uh, I have I have three major customers. Two of them are still operating. Uh, tires out of Wilson are not. Uh, not hitting very hard because the OEMs have closed down for four months. You know the the uh, the manufacturers, yeah. uh, the, the auto manufacturers. So I've I've made a move there. I've actually moved over to Harbor Freight uh, for my outbound out of Dillon, South Carolina, and they're they're essential. So I, I you know I've been running out with that. I go over towards uh, Illinois with chemicals, then I run from Wisconsin back down to Newburn. Wow, uh, with faucet faucet parts and. Uh, and they're still open, although they had a you know they had a uh, case down at, down there at the plant this week at, at Newburn, 
And so they, I noticed yesterday, I was in town yesterday, we dropped and hook in there, and they had about 40% the number of cars in their plant uh, that they normally have. I think a lot of people are, are uh, taking taking time off since they had a positive test in that plant. So, you know. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. Um, so, I, that, you know. But are you, we had a, we, we had a, uh, we had a trucker call in earlier and said that, you know, the normal places where you would be able to stop at a truck stop and uh, take a shower that those aren't uh the, the, they're not allowing you to do that are you experiencing that not at, not on my route on my route i have pretty regular places and they're all they're all they're all uh still doing the big ones the uh ta petros pilot flying jays love truck stops those are the majors and they they're still operating a lot of the mom and pops unfortunately this is going to put more mom and pop businesses of all kinds the truck stops especially it will put them out of business. I, I stopped at one the other night, and uh, I went in there, and I, I went in yesterday morning. And got I just I don't usually get bacon and eggs, but I got bacon and eggs to go. And the the lady, I mean, she looked pure. I mean, I, you know, it's, it's terrible on them folks, the wait staffs and all that are that are missing time. So, uh, you know, I I just I said, look, I'm still working. So, you know, I I just handed her a twenty dollar bill. And said, look, go, God bless you. Do so. Yeah, for yourself, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been, I've been over, I've been over tipping every time I go to uh, for takeout. I've been over tipping uh, myself. I know right. that, that's right. a good I thing to do if you're able to do it. Right, there are a lot of places out there that are now taking care of some of the yeah. truckers. I noticed yesterday, uh, three businesses in Greensboro uh, put up uh, put up ten thousand dollars for all truck drivers uh, meals uh, at the TA. Oh, that's in, great! In that's great. Until it ran out. So by, by the way, uh, I, I've always I, do you do you have to pay these places to take a shower? Uh, no, well, no. If you, I mean, <laughs> I buy, I buy, I buy, I buy about eight hundred dollars worth of fuel a week. So when you buy fuel, you have you have shower tickets. Okay. You have you have uh, everything's on. You know, it, it, nowadays of course everything's on a uh, on a on a rewards card. Uh, I got but, you. Yeah, I, no, I never have to pay for those. You know, like I say, I've, uh, I've got a you know. I, I've got a regular route. I'm out four nights a week. I'm home three nights. And for trucking, that's that's pretty darn good. But uh, and, and but I've been staying busy. Now I, I'm not. Uh, I know it's gonna the next week or two. Uh, it might not be as busy. But I just uh, I'm gonna stay out there as long as I can. Uh, one thing we have a pretty solitude. Uh, you know, life. You know, right, driving eight or ten, eleven hours a day. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, so what do you do to keep yourself? Up. What do you do to keep yourself? Uh, your mind sharp. Do you listen to? Uh... Uh, I'm up. I'm up to fifteen thousand audible books now <laughs> yeah you listen to books on tape yeah that's interesting yeah no books on audible now it used to be books on tape years ago i used to go to uh to, to the library and, and and get to see well actually i had I, i'm old old school i had uh i had the cassette tape <laughs> so, yeah uh but but now the technology we have we have xm radio we have everything right on your phone yeah, uh, so right. You can have it right through your yeah. system on the truck. Well, look, stay off, but, stay, I mean, off, stay off that XM radio. That's a communist thing. Well, uh, yeah, that thing is. That thing, I know that thing. <laughs> I, know it, I know it is. Uh, it is a communist. Hey, the funny thing is, is all the hosts now, all of their all of their production people have been in New York, and so they yeah. had to scramble all you know because uh, well, one of my one of my best shows, he he had to scramble and take somebody out of New Orleans uh, yeah. to uh, do all his production value stuff. So. Uh, so yeah, it's, everybody's having to change. Even in even in radio, when you when you're in New York, yeah. like they are. Hey, listen, and thank you, uh, thank you for the call. That was interesting, and um, and be safe, okay. God bless everybody. Be safe, out there. all right. Thank you. All right, well, let's get one more in, and we got to get a break in. Jim, uh, you've been holding a while. Sorry about that. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Henry. Hope you're doing well. Yes, sir. Doing fine. Good. Uh, just a quick opinion on this uh, homeschooling. First of all, uh, kudos to the, or kudos rather to the teachers. Uh, I think a lot of parents are finding out how much teachers really do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, uh, I've got a granddaughter, uh, excuse me, a grandson who's uh, in kindergarten, and my daughter took off the whole week from work just to get acclimated into this. Uh, the thing that kind of bothers me is the fact that they're even adding. Uh, the arts as far as music and art and i'm you know my opinion is just stay with the essentials right now the basics uh just want to get your opinion on that see what you thought about it uh you know i hadn't really given that any thought but i guess there's some kids who really love art i mean maybe it's going to help their mental health to have art 
but I but I know what you're saying. You're basically saying you know keep the kids. Uh, Keep, keep their learning skills going, keep them sharp, and we probably mm-hmm. ought to stick to the basics, um, reading, writing, arithmetic. And uh, I don't disagree with that, but, um, well, I, I, you I'm know, there's a, there's a report out this morning uh, that the state of North Carolina is not going to recognize any student in mm-hmm. a classroom. They're not going to give them grades if the entire class, if there's one kid in the class that doesn't have equal access to the Internet, and I'm, I'm thinking, man, what are they going to do about that? Because, you know, we had the superintendent on uh, last week saying that they weren't going to hold anybody back, that, you know, if they ended up not being able to finish the school year, that a kid saying the third grade is not going to have to repeat the third grade. Now, that's what he was saying last week. But now this new information comes out, and you wonder, you know? Yes, I just think this time education is important. But in, when all this is over with, the little kids especially, they're going to – what they're going to experience is how they got through this with uh, with love and care and just being safe. Yeah. Uh, I think that's more important than anything. Yeah. And I, I'm, not, I'm not downplaying the education part of it. I think that's very important. But yeah. uh, I think we can uh, you know, keep it to a minimum. And as far as the arts, uh, that's something we can do on our own. Yeah, that's uh, true. Without yeah. without it being you know gotcha. uh, required. All right, but great. I appreciate uh, you let me. Great uh, point. Yeah, uh, thanks for calling in. Yeah, we got to get a break in. Uh, it's eight fifty one, nine minutes in front of now. You know the other thing about holding everybody back, they can't really do it, McGee. I mean, you just talk. I don't like, see how it's going to be like done. It's like the um, unless they're going to uh, tell six year olds they can't go to first grade right. or five year olds they can't go to kindergarten. Because it's like what what the NCAA has done right now to universities, <laughs> right. which is uh, it just doesn't seem feasible. You know, for public you, education. You, you got to bring the freshmen in, but you got to give the seniors another year. Right. And so, you know, schools are you know we're hearing it's going to cost ECU like three hundred fifty thousand dollars. So, uh, you know, what do you do uh, with kids that are? Uh, you, you tell kids that we're getting ready to go to school, they're not going to go because we're holding everybody back. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know how they would do that, but. All right, we'll be back nine minutes in front of nine o'clock. We'll return with our laugh track, our final one of the week right after this. During the restaurant shutdown, there is still a great fine dining option. Nino's on Red Banks Road in Greenville is open for takeout. Just call 252-689-6446 and you can have your favorite Nino's dish in your home. From spaghetti carbonara, fettuccine alfredo with chicken, wild mushroom ravioli, Nino's has family size specials also. Add a great Nino salad or dessert. Call for takeout tonight, 252-689-6446. Pickup hours are 12 to 8, Monday through Saturday. Tired of feeling like just another number when picking up your prescription with possible unanswered questions? At HealthWise Pharmacy of Greenville, you're not just a number, you're family. Locally owned and operated by pharmacist Marcy Parker, HealthWise Pharmacy puts you and your health first, offering top-of-the-line customer service and expertise. HealthWise Pharmacy even offers free prescription delivery to anywhere in Pitt County. Located at 615B South Memorial Drive in Greenville, HealthWise Pharmacy, committed to you and your health every step of the way. When you need to hire a mover, call the A-Team Advanced Moving and Storage, the ace movers of Eastern North Carolina. We do everything we can to make a move less stressful for you and your family. Everything from buying your things in your house if you're downsizing to taking you across the country. We do it all. For 27 years, Advanced Moving and Storage has provided local, interstate, and interstate moving for our residential and commercial clients. We offer short and long-term storage. We also offer for uh, moving services for pianos, gun safes. We can move it all. Ten years ago, we started a sister company, The Loose Goose. We purchase things that you don't want anymore. We do anything we can to make it easier for you. So come by and check us out at Advanced Moving in The Loose Goose. We're located on Four Lines Road in Winterville. Turn beside Harbor Freight and Harley Davidson. Remember, call the A-Team, 252-321-3200. 252 321 Looking for great prices on gas and snacks and a friendly smile? Well, you'll see your neighbors at both Country Mart locations in Pitt County. And if you need ethanol-free premium gas for your small engines, Country Mart has that too. And check out Smitty's Restaurant at the Bethel Store for everyday lunch specials and breakfast, including their famous cheese biscuits. The Stokes location is serving up great food every day too. Now home of Gulf Products, Country Mart, Highway 11 between Greenville and Bethel and Highway 903 in Stokes. 
University PC Care has been ENC's go-to IT expert since 2006. And now Ashton and his team want everyone to know they're still open for business during this virus outbreak, especially since Apple has temporarily closed its stores. So for local Apple authorized service and repairs on any PC in the Greenville and New Bern area, simply call 252-558-1280 for support. Many services can be done remotely and they also offer free pickup and delivery. Learn more at universitypccare.com. We're waiting for you on Facebook now. Like us or watch the show. Find us at 1037 WTIB. Now back to the show with Henry Hinton. Five in front of nine. If you're in Greenville, you still have, if, if you're close enough, don't get a ticket. <laughs> but if you're close enough, you can still get a uh, free donut through the drive through at Krispy Kreme. They got the spring minis. And, of course, the chocolate-covered glaze today as well. But you get these free free spring mini if you go through and ask and tell them you're listening to Talk of the Town. All right, let's do the laugh track replay. A lot of folks are home right now with their wives or their husbands, and they're getting a little crazy because they haven't been inside the house together for this <laughs> long. Here's Bill Ingvall talking about that. I tell you what, I joke about it, but I'm going to tell you something, man. She runs that house. Good Lord. Um, yeah, I know, I know, I know. And if you're a married guy, I ain't telling you nothing you don't already know. But if you're single and you're thinking about getting married, listen up. <laughs> you ain't never gonna win the argument. Yeah. <laughs> if, if guys were a sports team, we'd be over. <laughs> I told my friend, I just, I'm so tired of losing the argument. And he goes, well, next time she wants to argue, tell her you want to argue naked. (laughs) Why would I do that? He goes, well, think about it. She's naked, you're naked. (laughs) Argument's over. I'm I'm all for that. (laughs) Bill Ingvall on the uh, laugh track. And we are done for today. Enjoy this weather. Get out and get some exercise, McGee. There you go. I will. Uh, Thanks to all of our calls and guests today. Everybody say a prayer. Wash your hands. Do something nice for somebody. We'll see you on Monday. Now that ECU and Pitt Community College have gone to online classes, students may have some items they need to store. Stow and Go Storage has units available in Greenville and Winterville. Stow and Go Storage is located at 4884 Reedy Branch Road in Winterville and in Greenville at 4584 NC Highway 43 South. Both facilities are well lit with gated keypad entries and monitored with 24-7 surveillance cameras for your security. From small closets to large commercial units, Stow and Go Storage is here for you. Call today, 252-341-14. What you don't know won't hurt you. Well, that is rarely true. And if you own Timberland, that is 100% not true. I'm Ed Colburn with Carolina Timber Consulting, and it is high time for people who own acres of standing timber to find out they can know what they own. How? By calling us and ordering a market analysis of their timber. You can know what you own. A market analysis is an inexpensive way to have valuable information placed in your hand or on a thumb drive that is easy to understand. It will describe your timber's unique characteristics and its current and future marketability. Recommendations will be offered that will prove invaluable for the future of your forest portfolio, and it is affordable. You can and should know what you own. Call our office at 833-3040 to learn more. That's 833-3040. Hey there, what are you waiting for? Now is the time. As mortgage rates are flattening, the housing demand is on the rise. You could become a real estate expert with Tire Realty Group just in time for the spring and summer buying seasons. Licensed or not, if you're interested in a real estate career, we want to talk to you. To learn more and apply, visit our website, trgcareer.com, or give us a call today, 252-758-HOME. That's 252-758-4663. At Nutrient, our purpose is to grow our world from the ground up. Nutrient plays a critical role in feeding the future by working with growers to produce bigger and healthier harvests each year. From the bottom of the mine to the top of the silo, we're committed to meeting the needs of a growing population, expected to reach nearly 10 billion people by 2050. We're feeding the future safely and with integrity each day. 
Nutrien employs more than 20,000 people with 1,700 retail locations, serving more than 500,000 growers globally. Our Aurora Phosphate Mining and Processing Facilities help grow Eastern North Carolina's economy with more than 850 employees and hundreds of thousands of dollars spent on goods and services each year. Nutrien's safety culture is part of everything we do to help protect people, the environment, and our neighbors. At Nutrien, we never stop growing because our world never does.